let's have a little play of this one. This was leaked audio of a certain Jonathan Greenblatt. Let's have a little listen to this. Did you hear that? It's the wrong game. Do you remember I made a video a while back that saying ideology is bullshit? Do you remember? You can tell that Jonathan Greenblatt in his heart of hearts, the issue that animates him isn't the left-right divide. That's a game. Really, it's about something else. See what else mm, he says. I wonder what it is. Jonathan So, I mean, a lot of people say that there's no, you know, Green Blast is too in with a woke, you won't be able to switch. I reckon you're going to see a, you're going to see a kind of more overt Green Blast Shapiro axis forming, um, whereby, because you know how Shapiro typically goes onto college campuses to like own the shit libs for a couple of mm -hmm. like, you know, Ben Shapiro destroys 19 year old type type material that you've seen um he's actually embarking on a on a different type of college tour where he's basically just going to go around trying to persuade young people to like love israel and not be anti-semites essentially which is a different style he's gone there he's now going to go round round rather than you know for the two minute own for his boomer audience, well, you don't Instead, think he'd destroy he's destroy the college students, destroy the little goyim. Instead, he's going to go and try to like, you know, try to side, try to get students, some more students on side, as it were. So interesting I mean, this development. Is why, this is why you don't make a golem. This is why you don't make a golem because they're, <laughs> it's going to turn on you eventually. Which is what they, well, you know, what they did. Of course, I mean, they create. You know, I, I should be careful. Um, Certain people um, pushed uh, for decades have pushed this 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 kind of um, proto wokeness as as a as a as a weapon as a tool of destruction. But what they didn't, of course, see is that in the end, their own tools would sort of come back to bite them. You know, the the, the you know all of these generations who have been indoctrinated with this this kind of you know uh, left leftist you know kind of postmodern leftism, they have followed it to its natural conclusion, which, of course, is not going to side with Israel. It's not going to side with, you know, first yeah. world, you know, um, you, you know, up, upper middle class people of a certain race. It's going to side with the eternal, you know, uh, the, the eternal oppressed person, which is going to be the brown Palestinian, <clears throat> you know, and, and, and they created it. And so it's destroying mm -hmm. them. And I don't think mm -hmm. they're going to be able to save themselves. You know, it doesn't matter which tack they take i think it's it's too late uh 
they'll never be able to contain the narrative that they that they unleashed all those years ago. I, I, I do also see I, I do also think that there's a part of this narrative that Greenblatt and everybody else is talking about that is kind of not true as well, though, right? I do not believe that the Palestinians are getting worldwide sympathy because of fucking critical race theory. I, I don't. I honestly think that a lot of it is to do with the fact that they're just bombing the <clears> shit <throat> out of hospitals. It's like, oh, there's a Hamas base under this hospital. Let's um, completely destroy it and kill all the babies. Yeah. And, um, oh, we were wrong. Oh, well, I'm sure there's a good explanation. I mean, they, they've done that a lot now, you know, refugee camps. And I think they've destroyed every single hospital in Gaza at this point. When, mm. when that stuff is on TV all the time, um, it doesn't really matter, like, what you've read at university. You're just watching one people destroy another people in a kind of straightforwardly kind of uh, – in a straightforward way. And <clears throat> I think what's different with this conflict uh, versus other times this has happened in the past is that you you didn't have the 24-7 uh, real-time footage coming out uh, on, you, you know – you may have had like twenty four seven TV back in, back in the Iraq War, for example, but you don't have the social media, the social media feeds, the actual footage that comes out, and so on. And I and I I honestly think that um, that I mean, what I'm saying is to frame all of this whole thing as oh, you talk critical race theory to students, therefore they hate Israel. It's not that's part of it, but part also. It, yeah. Like this wouldn't be happening if you hadn't spent the past six months bombing the shit out of these people. Mm. I mean, it just and, that's, and that's that's with a saturation of like rear guard action from the media. I mean, you look at the contrast between how they cover the Ukraine war in terms of um, abiding by international humanitarian law, and then you look at the Israel's like offensive on onto onto Gaza, and they, they just downplay it so hard. It's not funny, and even that people can see through that. So, mm. see, They're I are trying, but it's not work. working. I'm probably the worst judge of this because I, I have no sympathy for anyone other than my my own kind. So I, I don't care. You know, you can bomb third world hospitals, or whatever. So be it. It doesn't. I doesn't stand with me, Chud so. octopuses. Yeah, exactly. And I'm I'm just well, you know <clears throat> billions must. But I, I, I suppose I, I suppose yeah. you're you're certainly right. It, it I don't think there's one simple explanation for it, and I I certainly think the optics of it couldn't be worse than they have been. I, I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't really matter. It, like, let's just pretend that you switched all the universities back to just doing normal work, right? Because once upon a time, universities just, you know, you studied literature, you studied history, like you what? actually did the subject rather than studying left wing, left wingery 24 seven. I honestly, I honestly think that you could completely change the universities back to normal and you'd still pretty much get this reaction because people don't like seeing civilians bombed all the time. Mm. I mean it's just that and and if if um social media had been around in earlier periods like for example if it had been around in the era of Vietnam um the anti the anti Vietnam stuff would have boiled over a lot quicker than it had than it actually did it took a few years uh in re you know for the images to come back if that stuff was coming back in real time there would have been an outcry back then even during the second world war if there had been social media the entire war would have been different because they just wouldn't have been able to get away with some of the stuff that went on essentially um, without, without there being like the sort of reaction that we're seeing is what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. um, I, I do think though, that I do think the emotional response can be controlled to a great extent. And I do think that there is, um, there is certainly, there are certainly narratives um, that, that are, I'm not, not talking about is, you know, sort of, pro-israeli narrative i think there's other narratives coming through that are that are very effective and I, I just i just think you know it's very selective i think people people can very easily overlook um massacres happening even when there's clear evidence of them i mean obama you know blew up quite <clears throat> a few civilians and no one cared at all not mm. not a bit of it you know so yeah, uh, but, i mean it doesn't have the spotlight on it but <clears throat> i mean the, the fact is is that there's a reason why the spotlight is on this conflict and it is, wasn't on Yemen, for example, or various other places. And that's because the American government is giving billions of dollars and weapons to Israel to do this. 
right? Not just the American uh, government. And, and, government and our, and our well. government. <laughs> and right. So when it is when essentially the only people who could uh, have any kind of um, enforce any sort of control on Netanyahu uh, are actually enabling him or turning a blind eye or basically kind of green lighting genocide after you know spending years talking about being the moral policeman of the world and all this other bullshit and you know calling putin hitler for the past two years um and all of the other kind of crap they come out with um i think that it's basically un it's just not tenable to expect uh the public to buy that um regardless of what what, what their beliefs are you know uh so I, I mean, certainly the wokery uh, kind of helps it along because there's a big victim oppressor narrative. But that's I mean that's not the only reason that this is happening. It, I, it would happen at any time in any age, in, in my view. So uh, anyway, but, but, I'm, but, a, I, I, but unlike I hate you, to, but I hate... I'm a humanitarian. I want love See, and peace. Unlike you, me, but... exactly. Because <laughs> yeah. I hate to say, but when the time <clears throat> comes, if the time ever comes. There are things that will be required that will offend the moral sensibilities of a 21st century Western observer. That's just how the world works and it's how it's always worked, you know. Um, so I don't know. Well, I, 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 I am less I, I, I am less um, concerned. About I, I condemn all optics. genocide. I condemn all genocide. <laughs> A okay, hundred so... and nine, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. a hundred and ten. Stop uh, uh. It. No, no, no. come on, God, come on, God, please, no. stop that.